Hello, it's your boy J4Peace back with another video. And yes, today we're looking at the top 10 best attackers in One Piece Bounty Rush. But before we get into it, if you guys want to check out my top 10 best defenders and top 10 best runner videos, there are a link in the description if you guys missed those. This is just to complete the, the, the mini series that we have. And if you guys want to join my Discord, link in the description. If you guys want to join my second channel, also link in the description. And if you want to please like, share, subscribe, turn on notifications for more content, I'll help your boy out, and you can join, you know what I'm saying, join, you know, join us, nigga, you know what I'm saying, join, join, you know what I'm saying, but anyway, let's get straight into it. Yes, yeah, so number 10, I have two characters, I'm cheating for this one, I'm cheating, but I have two characters that I want to put in the top 10, and number 10 for now, and that is going to be Aka Inu. And the other one, I'll let you know. But I can, you know, he's really good. He's he's very powerful. He has the magma state and whatever. But the only thing, the reason why he cannot go up any further is that he has a lot of counters, and there's also characters that could take away his buff state, which is the meteor volcano. This the, this is literally his bread and butter, right? Plus, there's also characters that can heal off of incineration as well. So there's a lot of characters that could counter him. But he has very good attack power and a, a lot of attack force, so he could still be very threatening, especially to people like Film Red Shanks, um, Gear 5 Luffy, and uh, well, Gear 5 Luffy can take away his buff state, but still, he can still hit hard if you're not careful. So yeah, also at number 10. Yes sir, Goldie Roger, the, yes, the original, the original one, the, the first version. When in his time, he was very, very broken, but of course, now just like Aki Inu, he has a lot of counters. He still has the Kamusari, and um, you know, some people will even say he's even better than Aki Ak Inu, but I think both of them are in different. I think both of them are on the same level. There's a lot of counters to both of them, and Aki Inu, he could easily counter Roger as well. So, there's that. There's a fun fact there, you know, but um, I, I feel but I believe both of them are in the top 10. They should be top 10 because they're used. I've seen a lot of you guys. I've seen a lot of people. They've been using them too. They've been using them. So, shout out to y'all niggas. Number 9. I would have to say Film Red Uta. She is very underrated right now. Um, She is so, so underrated. I feel like... I feel like... Well, I can't even know. I can't even say she's underrated. Well, but there is a lot of people that use EXs, so never mind. But <laughs> but if people are not using EXs, Uta is definitely one of the the best non-EX attackers you can use right now. Definitely very, very good. Uh, she has a, a shield just like, um like what's her name? Hybrid Yamato. Okay, just like her as well. But uh, she has a Sing Sing Fruit. And she has her Slash Move or whatever it's called. It's like, it's, it's like, it's like, um, Cracker. And she does a lot, a lot of damage, especially to the niggas like Whitebeard and Roger. The, the, the new EX is specifically too. She could do, she can hit hard. Pause. Yeah, number eight is going to be Cracker. Cracker, I, I feel like he's just very powerful right now. He, you could use him. I, I, to be honest, I think number eight and number seven are like at the same you could interchange them between the two of them. I think you could interchange between both of them. I think it just depends on you. Not even just not even just number eight and number seven. Even number six as well. Because the next three are going to be very debatable. It depends on you guys. I think it just depends on, on, on how you guys feel. But uh, and it depends on who you use more. So the next, the next three are going to be very debatable for you guys. So warning you guys. But anyway, Cracker is very good. He's very po powerful. Crash Pencil, you have the Crash Pencil, you have the Infinity Number Biscuit Warriors. He, he, he has it all. Plus, he's immune to status effect as well. So, what else can you say? Number seven. <clears throat> Blue Shanks. Blue Shanks definitely 100% deserves, deserves to be on this list. Now, I th like I said, the, the next three will be interchangeable. Okay, so it all depends on y'all. But for me personally, I like Blue Shanks. I think he just does a lot more. I think he just does a, lot, a bit more damage to more characters. You know, um, he's a bit, he's a bit, 
I could say he's a bit tanky as well. He's a bit tanky. He can he can, he can take a lot of hits. Pause. He can take a lot of hits from the back. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? Like, pause. No, no. Okay, yeah, never mind. But you, you get what I mean. Like, you know what I'm saying? You you, you go crazy. You could go you could go crazy type shit. You know? Uh, he has the counter. He has a counter as well. Definitely very good. <clears throat> and of course, Griffin Slash. Probably one of the best moves in the entire game. The damage and everything. If you get hit by this, your most of your HP is going away. I'm just not letting you know that. Like most of the time, your HP is going away, half of it at least. So, yeah, yeah. Number six, you won't, you might, you guys won't believe, but Ex Luffy, expensive Luffy. Now, like I said, Cracker, and Shanks. And Luffy, they're interchangeable. I think it just depends on y'all. Like, if you who and you who do you use more? Who do you use more and whatever? Me personally, I prefer Ex Luffy number six. I think he just does a bit more. Yes, he may be a kind of a glass cannon, but especially I've seen a lot of excuse me. I've seen a lot of other people use Ex Luffy in this matter. Shout out to y'all niggas. You guys are real niggas. Now, if you guys don't know, I love Ex Luffy. This is arguably be my favorite character in the entire game. Arguably my favorite character. Him and Gear 5 Luffy. Th these are my favorite. Luffy is, of course, my favorite character in One Piece, obviously. But this character in particular could turn into both Snake Man and into Bounce Man. Both Gear, both, both gear 4 forms. And he has insane damage. But I think out of everybody on this list, he has the most damage out of everybody on this list. So, ha. Huh. Yeah. You guys are going to be very surprised. I have to put Fillmore Shanks at number five. Now, I was first, I was thinking I was wanting to put him a bit more further, but I feel like there's other characters who are just doing more in the meta right now, especially in this meta. The reason why Shanks is not going to go any higher than number five for me is because there's a lot of characters, like there's characters that can take away his buff state, and there's characters that have the ability to literally one-shot him, <clears throat> which will be a character that I'll be letting you guys know later on in this list. He, he, can, he, he can basically one-shot shanks okay and there's a lot of characters that can fuck up shanks easily so i love shanks and i know he, the reason why he's in number five for me is because he could counter uh roger and white beard could do a lot of damage towards them and destroy them literally so that's why he's gonna be on this list for me but i there's also a lot of characters that could f him up now so yeah number four white attacker odin yes sir now i want to get this Odin to level 100 very soon i'm gonna i'm trying to upgrade him right now i'm upgrading greenbow first he's almost at five stars so i'm trying to get him out of out the way and yes guys i know i know i know i forgot greenbow i forgot frankie on the list in the last runner video so forgive me for that i know you could you could you could slam you could you could make fun of me you could roast me in the comments you, you could do whatever please because the, the fact that I forgot Green Boy is crazy. And I've been he's been one of the most used characters I've been using in a serious challenge. So, I really love that character. Especially in OPBR. But, um, anyway, for Odin here. he The reason why he's at number 4 for me is that he can handle a lot of characters in the game. The only character you're going to get effed up by is Roger in this meta. But other than that, yeah, other characters can get you. That's if you're outside your treasure area. That's why he's only going to be in the number 4 spot. I feel like in other areas of the of the field, like he can't really, he can't really, you know, he, he gets fucked up, bro. He gets fucked up by like outside the treasure area. Other than that, he's immortal inside the treasure area. He could kill almost anybody, would nearly one shot everybody with two star uh, waterfall and Tatsuka, whatever, you know, and he can inflict anti heal on opponents as well. He's just overall, I think he's just better. Than Eve, yes, even from Red Shanks, but that's just my opinion. Yes, and and number three. Now, in my opinion, the next two, number three and number two, could be interchangeable depending on what type of player you are and how you like to play and like who's your favorite character or whatever. Well, they're kind of the same character, but you know, um, yeah, and that is Yamato. Now, the reason why Yamato, for me, is not going to go any further than number two and number one is because of Gear 5 Luffy. There's a lot of Gear 5, Lu there's a Gear 5 Luffy's in this meta right now, especially, you know, what's going on. I cannot wait for the Bounty Festivals tomorrow. Hopefully, they're good, and hopefully, they can change the meta. <laughs> okay, hopefully, I can't wait for that, but 
well by the time you see this video the, the bounty festival should be announced so anyway hybrid yamato is really 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 good she's very underrated and she destroys roger bro even what even whitebeard if you're if you're careful against whitebeard you could fuck up whitebeard as well but roger you could destroy roger i've been having fun using her especially her i've been using like her and the, i've been using her and claw or sometimes i'll be using her and ex luffy it'll be so funny to it'll be so fun to use them or her and uh Rayleigh. she's such a she's such a good uh attacker i love using her and her shield and she has a shield and she has her unique uh, uh what's it called status effect frostbite yes and we're we're in the final two spots and that is number two yes 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 i i had to put him here at number two number two and number three could be interchangeable depending on what type of player you like you know you, that you like or whatever but me personally i have to use yes for me because they have a, they're a double unit plus they have two invisible skills and they can one they have the ability to one shot gear five luffy you know i could also put to be honest too in the top 10 uh, honorable mentions could be killer um attacker red attacker king uh there's other there's other there's a lot of great attackers in this game but for me personally i'm gonna have to put yes in the number two spot you know what i'm saying just he could one shot he, 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 he kills off majority of units uh, he does. He, he, he you could kill off Roger, but he has to be outside of his treasure area most of the time. Um, and uh, Whitebeard, you, you're gonna you're, you're gonna have difficulties fighting him most of the time. But other than that, you should be good. Yes, and at number one, yeah, you might uh, you might find this as a surprise. You guys actually might find this as a surprise. But yeah, this Onogashima Zoro for me. Is the best attacker in this game right now yeah now a lot of you guys don't know a lot I think a lot of you guys know that who guys have been playing in the meta but Zoro and Yace have been the most used characters right now in in league like they have been used a lot you know especially with gear 5 Luffy Roger and Whitebeard Zoro is goaded he, he's immune to status he's immune to stun that's first of all he's immune to stun he's not immune he's not, he's not immune to status effect but he's immune to stun so that makes him automatically goaded. And he could cut down anybody. He could fight literally anybody. Like I said, I told you guys this. I told you guys this months before. I said, this is the best EX Bandai has ever created. People disagree with me. I said, well, fuck you, nigga. Because this nigga is him. I told you, Zoro is the best EX ever created by Bandai. By far. Whether you like it or not. And I knew, I knew that when I first summoned him. So, type shit. Anyway... I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Video, stay blessed, stay safe. What is your list? You can comment down below, and yeah, peace.